Lawmakers on Beacon Hill are on the verge of passing an historic bill, the Student Opportunity Act, that will invest one and a half billion dollars in the Massachusetts public education system. Devin and Jason McCourty of the New England Patriots are two high profile supporters of the bill. And to them, this vote is just one part of a larger mission. It's tonight's Eye on Education. We always see them together. Interception <laughs> right into the hands of Devin McCourty. On the field, on the sidelines. They will get what they need. And earlier this year, testifying at the State House on behalf of the Student Opportunity Act, the update to the education funding formula that'll mean more money for school districts with low income students across the Commonwealth. We probably made this up when we were like 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Devin and Jason McCourty have always been in sync. It's a twin thing. My kids don't even get a chance to do it. As the legislation moved through the process on Beacon Hill, Devin and Jason followed every development closely, testifying. From that point, we were able to kind of talk to each other. Visiting schools, writing an op-ed, putting their famous faces to a rather dry issue to help bring the bill over the goal line. I think it's just been very rewarding. It's all part of a bigger game plan. The brothers, along with teammates Matthew Slater and Duran Harmon, have joined forces with a dozen other NFL players to form Form the Players Coalition. Like Deb said, a lot of guys were just like, well, you're working on this here, you're working on that there. Man, let's band together. Let's figure out a way that we can all do this. And, you know, there's always just strength in numbers. They focus on social justice issues, including education. Do you think this is one of the most important civil rights issues of our time? I do. I think education is one of the, the biggest things that you can have in the world. Can't you know, be taken from you. It, it just can't. And I think. Once you educate yourself, there's a lot you can do. The focus is making sure in school districts where there is a high percentage of low-income students that more money is spent there so that those kids can get more local and state resources. Exactly, and it's just trying to, to give them a chance. You know, mm -hmm. I think some of these kids started with such a disadvantage. Massachusetts has some of the best schools in the nation. We're always number one when mm -hmm. people talk about public education, but we have this continuous achievement gap. Right, and that is really what you've decided to focus on. And, and when you asked that question, that's the first thing I thought of. Massachusetts is very unique because if you want to find the best schools in the country, mm -hmm. you go to Massachusetts. You know, from elementary all the way up to, you know, after high school, you know, graduate school, college, you have the top universities right here. Um, but I think what goes by and no one and everyone misses is that gap you're talking yeah. about. Um, and that's what we talked about. Some of the schools we went to, the teachers, uh, the principals, they found ways to get things done without the resources. They'll set up a GoFundMe site on their own. Exactly. And sometimes, like, we saw one school, they put a, the, they had no library, they put it in a hallway. Mm -hmm. So they're finding ways to get things done. Is there a little friendly competition among the other members of the Players Coalition? You'll be able to call them and say, hey, we got this bill passed in Massachusetts. What did you do lately? <laughs> you, do, you do feel pretty good when we get on our group conference calls and we're like, you know, hey, in Boston we did this, you know, but uh, it's just a lot of good guys yeah. doing some great work. So. <clears throat> Um, I think that is a great type of competition to have, though, when everyone's trying to make a difference.